We'll, we'll give that another shot. Let me get a old sickle of beer, or old sipple, or an old suckle. That's it. An old suckle of beer. Alright. Now here we go. What's up, nerds? Um. Maybe that didn't help. Oh well. Who wants to install a performance kit or a Go Power Sports performance kit on a Predator 212? Probably you. That's probably why you're watching this video. I do too. Damn. This arrived in the mail like two days ago, but it's been pouring rain and I've been lazy and editing YouTube videos. But in it is Go Power Sports intake kit. I didn't get the exhaust because I made my own exhaust because I'm cool like that. But I'm sure I'm sure the power figures will be relatively the same. Included in this kit are or is is our a sweet little velocity stack or velocity adapter for your Canon style typish filter. I'm surprised they haven't got a trademark violation with that, but who cares? A sweet little Go Power Sports thong banana hammock or I guess you could use it as a filter for your or pre-filter for your actual filter. Whoops. Stand by. You don't get that. I'll tell you about that in a minute. You get a little arm to hold your choke lever down because Honda did it super ghetto or Honda Chinese copying dudes did it a little ghetto. You get some super sweet gaskets because you probably are an idiot and you're going to tear yours. Maybe not. Who knows? Let's throw it in for good measure. And the Mac Daddy Ultimate Size 38 Squirter or Jet if you're a normal person. And two little boss ass stickers. Boom and boom. Oh, let me put all my junk in my box. <laughs> All right, scrub lords. First thing we're gonna do is you move this bad little air box. I mean, yours probably looks like that, but less like cheese. But you can pull that off. It doesn't fucking matter. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, you don't have to take it off. You shouldn't even take it off. But you can if you want to. If you want to be like me. We're gonna take these two. I'm guessing 10 millimeter bolts, being it's from China. Boom! Look at me. That's actually kind of loose. I might be wrong. We're gonna use a 10 mil socket anyway. I'm sure it's right. Fuck it. It's 10 mil ish. You can grab your 10 mil socket. Maybe it's not. And you're gonna grab your 10 mil socket and boom. Boom, I mean you can use a regular socket but I'm not trying to waste all y'all's time. Except I am, because you're <laughs> watching my shitty YouTube videos. And, oh, yeah. On this side, you can see this tube connected to valve cover. That's gonna be sticky, but you can just pull on it. Make sure your choke is on start and your fuel is on off. And should be able to finagle and pull and stuff should happen. And you should be free. Should be Gucci. The hell? Uh, 
Oh, and boom. There's your intake. Ooh, I mean, it probably doesn't look like that because you didn't hack yours all up. Probably because you're smarter than that. So, next, you want to grab your little velocity stacks ish intake. I guess they call it an intake adapter. That's the proper name. That's the Go Power Sports name for it. And you're going to want to reuse this t those two 10 mil bolts. God, my YouTube commentary sucks. Sorry, my. I don't want to. Better shot of this. You basically just want to tighten this down. I mean, don't go too tight with it. I mean, I've destroyed numerous things trying to tighten it down to Tyler spec. This is not something you want to do. Tyler spec is always a solid 20 pounds over recommended torque settings. Boom. We now have a fancy fancy velocity stack. Oh my god, my head was probably oh yeah, that was way in the way. Boom. Shakalaka. Now we have a fancy pantsy intake installed, intake adapter. But we're not done yet. But wait, there's more. Um I lost the, the, the more part. We're going to pull our jet out and slap the new one in. So you're going to need a 10 mil, wrong way, 10 mil wrench on this. And you're going to get gas everywhere probably. It's covered in gas. Get a good old sniff of that. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> so strong. Okay. And this whole tube, which is on the bowl, there will be your jet. You're gonna need to use a little flathead screwdriver. It'll have like little divots in it and you just unscrew it. This will work. I'll use the old. Damn, I suck at carrying this. We'll use the old bent up screwdriver. Oh, yeah. okay. So we're gonna stick a little screwdriver. This bad boy right here. We're gonna unscrew our little jet. I'm actually going to use a small screwdriver. And then, voila. You have your... Ooh, ooh, ooh. got your jet. The whole reason I'm even doing this is because I drilled mine out way too much and it's just dumping fuel into it. Alright. So we're gonna grab go power sports unit. All nice and fancy. Alright. Pop her in there. Set a screw in. Make her somewhat snug. Don't force it though, because she's brass, and brass is not 
um, for being extremely strong. You want to throw your bowl back on. And twist it the wrong way. Alright, and we're a good little snug. She's ready to rock and roll. Alright, this doesn't come with the Go Power Sports thing, but I highly suggest you grab one. It is a breather filter. Which is one of these little bad boys that all the Hondas have on their valve covers. Much like that, we'll be sticking it in our actual valve cover tube just so junk doesn't fall in there. All this really does is releases pressure from the crank or releases pressure from the heads or one of the two. Releases, pr uh, releases pressure though and no it won't be like sucking things up like some people say it doesn't suck. Well you don't want junk to fall in there while you're not riding your go-kart or using it and go up in your heads and jack up some junk. So, let's get a little hose clamp. Knock the filter off. We just want to tighten her down. So I'm actually kind of surprised the Go Power Sports doesn't include this. I mean, it's like 15 bucks, which is somewhat a lot, but not. But it looks cool. You'll look like a Honda boy, and everybody knows that Honda boys are the coolest. Just get that to where it's not gonna come off. I mean, don't freaking wrench it down. It's just plastic. All right. We're going to zip tie here to this little gas vent hose holder. That's actually what it is. <laughs> I'm not just making shit up. That's. And boom, we've got this cool little breather hose venting our head. That's actually pretty sweet. All right. I'm going to slide our filter on. Alright. And your hose clamp nice and on the actual. Let's tighten her down. It doesn't have to be too crazy tight. And I'm gonna see if I can start it. Pretty mean. 